everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is brenda or also known as cozyaholic and for today's video we're going to be doing yet another fall routine and this one's actually going to be halloween themed because i know a lot of you guys loved my last fall routine video so i wanted to do one that was a little bit more halloween themed because i redecorated for october so i definitely wanted to include one of those videos um but anyways as usual i always start with cleaning my house just because i want everything to be tidy and just have an area that's stress-free that way whatever it is that i'm doing afterwards i just i can do without worrying about having a mess after so right now i'm just always starting with the dishes i clean the sink make sure there's absolutely nothing left behind i think it's like one of my favorite things to do and then afterwards as you guys know from my last video i love playing a fireplace youtube video um, onto my tv so i just cast it from my phone and i just love having that in the background it really sets a cozy vibe in the house and then that allows me to really relax so now i'm basically just going to start cleaning picking up all of the dog toys all the mess from throughout the day and one of my favorite things is this couch and it's the it's a dupe for the um what is it the restoration hardware cloud sofa and i found a dupe and i absolutely love it so the only thing i like to do at the end of the day is to fluff it up again because it is one of those things where it gets really tedious um once you sit on it it all gets like crushed down so i just go ahead and fluff it up for the next day And then I go ahead and start folding all of the baby blankets and just picking up all of my baby stuff. As you guys know, I just had a baby three months ago and I am so in love with Carter. He's the sweetest little baby that I've ever, ever met in my whole life. And I love him to pieces. Right now he's sleeping, obviously. So this is more of like my alone time when I get to relax and kind of just live my life as when I was not a mom yet. Um, so it just really gives me the time to relax on my own and just give myself some me time. And then moving along, I like to go to the bathroom and start, you know, pampering myself. So for tonight, I went ahead and put my hair in a bun because I had showered previously. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like taking baths if I haven't showered beforehand. Um, and then I got my Lush face mask and this one's a Don't Look At Me, my absolute favorite. I don't know about you guys, but it smells like Fruit Loops to me. And I went ahead and started applying that to my face. The reason why I did it really zoomed in is because I'm already not wearing clothes, so I definitely don't want to expose myself to you guys. And then I went ahead and bought myself also a festive bath bomb, and this one is the pumpkin one. It smells amazing. I absolutely love it, and it is also so freaking cute. Alrighty, and then once I had a little bit of time to just relax, I went ahead and stepped out of the bath. I dried myself and went ahead and changed myself into some comfy clothes. I personally don't do pajamas a lot. I just have a black t-shirt and some shorts. And then I went ahead and removed the face mask and I used my CeraVe moisturizer. And that is literally my go-to like skincare routine. That's literally all I use. So I went ahead and moisturized my face. And then I went in with a toner and just sprayed that all over my face. And all done for my face. Um, and then I like to proceed with some vitamin E lotion. As you guys know, vitamin E is amazing for the skin. It helps tighten your skin and, you know, end firmness. And um, on top of that, it makes your skin super, super soft. So I definitely love doing this after I've like exfoliated my skin and just like, you know, pampered myself basically. Basically. 
Alrighty, so now back to the kitchen. I decided for tonight um, I'm gonna be making chocolate covered strawberries. It has been one of my latest hobbies. I love them so much besides the fact that they taste amazing and I just think they're like a super fun hobby to do. I love it. So for tonight I'm gonna be doing some Halloween themed um, chocolate covered strawberries and very very easy. I just went ahead and washed them and then afterwards, obviously, you have to dry them so that the chocolate actually is able to stick to the strawberry. So I went ahead and dried a couple of them. I didn't do all of it because, you know, I'm not necessarily the most energetic right now. I'm really relaxed, so I don't want to do too many. Um, and then I went ahead and got um, some chocolate uh, wafers, I think they're called. And I went ahead and melted those in a microwave-safe container. And then once it's melted, I went ahead and added some powder food coloring because I've tried the gel, I've tried liquid food coloring, and that actually messes up with the consistency and it makes the chocolate really hard. It took a lot of error and trial, but um, or trial and error, I think it's backwards, um, but you have to use powdered food coloring in order for the chocolate to not turn hard. So um, definitely make sure you do that if you decide you want to do chocolate covered strawberries as well. Um, and then I just added a bunch of festive sprinkles and yeah, they're, they're really cute. Not necessarily the best, they're not super professional, but really fun to do. And then I also wanted to make some cookies. I am not necessarily like a big baker. I love baking, but I just don't have the time to actually do things from scratch. So for this, this video, I just decided to do these um, sugar cookies from I think, I don't know the brand. You guys know the brand, it's really common. <laughs> I can't remember the brand, but it's those cookies, you know, they're super basic and everyone knows about them. So I went ahead and preheated the oven to 350 and once it was ready, I went ahead and put the cookies in. And while that was cooking, I decided that I wanted to do a little bit something more festive. I know a lot of you guys are actually freaking out because I drink coffee at night, but it's a huge, tradition in mexico like you literally live and breathe coffee you drink coffee in the morning you drink coffee at night like it's a thing and but this time i decided i wanted some apple cider so i got this jug from target and i just decided to heat it up and then put a bunch of cinnamon to make it taste a little bit better And this is the final result and then the last thing that I added was some whipped cream unfortunately I already ran out I literally go through whipped cream so quickly luckily there was just a little bit amount just enough to to make this drink perfect alrighty and after that once my desserts were good to go I put a couple strawberries in this really cute festive bowl and I also added some of the cookies that I baked And yeah, you guys, that's literally it for my Halloween routine. I just love being festive and putting myself in this mood. Um, it really, really helps the mind. It makes me so relaxed and just like happy, if you know what I mean. I just feel cozy and happy in the inside and I feel like we all need that right now. So hopefully this inspires you guys to also give yourself some time to pamper yourself and watch a Halloween movie and whatnot. So yeah, um, anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I love you guys so much. Bye!